Hey, welcome back to the homestead. We're down here in the orchard and it's the end of spring here, getting towards the end of spring, the end of May, and we're doing another spring tour. So this is the 20 tree backyard orchard. It might be 22 actually. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, lost some trees, gained some trees, but let's start here with the peaches. Right here, Santa Barbara peach. It's doing okay. Um, if you watch, you know, I've got other videos on this orchard, so the winter pruning, you'll see what this looked like. Um, you'll see what they all look like, but this one's got getting nice growth, and we're just looking to set some structure on it for the next season or the season after to get some good fruit on it. Then we got the mid pride peach over here, and this one's doing nice. It's coming out. We took the center of it off during the winter because I didn't like how it was going up. Uh, too high in the middle so we got that opened up and we're setting a nice structure there and then we go next to the May Pride and this one's just waking up so this is uh, later uh, in the season the first two peaches those actually did set little fruits and we plucked them all off because we're not looking for fruit yet we're looking to set the structure of the tree but yeah you can see this one's just waking up we have blooms right here and swollen buds um, which seems late in the season for this because this is a May Pride. All right, then we've got our August Pride, which is our last Pride. And also we took a lot off in the pruning. We took the center off of this because I didn't like how it was going kind of up and not out. So we're gonna try and get this to go out and set a nice wide uh, kind of cup formation. Um, so that's looking pretty good so far. Now we're over to the apricot zone. This is a gold kiss, doing really good. Um, I experimented on these apricots. I have three. So one of them I pruned pretty heavy, one of them I pruned medium, and one of them I pruned kind of light. This is the one I pruned kind of light and left a lot of branches on it. So it's getting nice size and I'm uh, pretty happy with that so far. Then we've got the Katie apricot right here. Um, it seems like it's waking up. I, last year they woke up much earlier, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but it is waking up. There's a little green right here coming out. So it seems like it's still alive. And then we move on to the Tropic Gold apricot. And this might be dead. I don't know. It doesn't seem to have any signs of waking up. There's no green poking out or anything. The buds aren't really all that swollen. They seem almost dry. So hopefully this one isn't dead. I'm not sure what happened, but what are you going to do? Now we're into the next row. We've got a 20th century Asian pear, which I'm pretty sure this has got to be dead because it's showing no signs of life at all. And it's got discoloration over here and black over here. So this is probably done. Um, so we lost one. I don't know why. Next over to the burgundy plum. And this was a new addition. Um, we had the other one here was burgundy plum, but it died from trunk rot. It was planted too low. Um, so this one we stick pruned it, which is just chopping everything off and just leaving a stick. And now as it comes out of dormancy, it's starting to set branches out. And it's coming a little slow, but it is coming out. So this will come out with that goblet shape. So I'm pretty happy on that. I think it was um, not happy with the fertilizer. This was fertilized with the old tree, which was bigger. And then I transplanted this into here with bare root and there was fertilizer already there from the, you know, what I had done for the other tree that was dead. So it seemed like it burned a little, but it seems to be coming back. Um, so we'll see how this does. Now you'll see later in the, towards the end, there's another one that was stick pruned and you'll see how that turned out on the other one, which is pretty cool. Next we've got the cherries. We've got a Royal Lee cherry here. And this one, I just recently trained it because these were going pretty straight up. Um, so I've got strings tied down, training the branches to go out more. So this will hopefully get it more out and not just straight up like it was. A lot of these branches were just pretty, almost vertical. Um, then we've got the mini royal cherry. And this one also just got trained recently. So strings here, pulling stuff out wide, opening up the center. Um, we'll see when pruning time comes, we might have to cut this out. Speaking of pruning, we will do some pr summer pruning here for size control and just kind of light shaping. Take tips off and get stuff back under control because we don't want these going too crazy. So doing some in the summer helps out, balance it out so you don't have to take a ton off in the winter. 
Now we're over to the nectarines. We've got our Panamint nectarine here just waking up. You can see the beautiful blooms on there, pink blossoms. So this one hopefully will start to go explode with some growth soon and some vigor. Then we've got the Desert Delight nectarine and this one's doing all right. This one set some fruits. We pulled them off because we don't want fruit. We want it to get strong roots and good structure. And you'll see this one's staked up. This one's had a rough go. Gophers bit at the roots and really harmed them and it got blown over by the wind. So I don't like staking trees, but I had to do it on this one or else it would have just died. But overall it's looking okay. We're getting some growth. And uh, this one also got attacked by the ants and aphids. There's an ant right there. So it's had a rough go, but it's doing okay. And the roots are starting to get better. Before this was completely wobbly. It was not strong at all. Now over here we've got the Arctic Star Nectarine, and this one's a lot smaller than it was because in winter I took off the center central leader. I just didn't like the shape of it, so I'm hoping that we'll get some even, as I always say, that goblet shape with the open center. Um, so this one I'll have to be, you know, attentive to how to prune it and keep the shape good. Then we've got the Methley Plum over here, and this one's just looking great. Um, this one had a really sad go last uh, season, last spring and summer. The ants went crazy on it and brought the aphids and really torched it and just put it through a world of hurt. But now we got the ants off and it came through winter and woke up and it's just exploding. So we're super happy on the methylene plum here. Now we're coming over to the apple area. This is the Fuji apple. It's putting off blooms right now too. Um, it's gotten some okay growth. We're just trying to get some structure set on it. The apples just haven't been super vigorous, but that's all right. Then we've got then we've got the gala apple or gala, however you pronounce that. And this one, so we had this was like our best apple tree, but here, and that's the one that died, and it had just great structure and branches. So we had to get a new one, and it was too late in the season for bare root, so we had to get a potted one. Since we've planted it. It's not really done anything. It's just kind of sat and just been in a stasis kind of, but it did send out a little, this is like sort of new growth, but overall it's not doing much. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for now and hopefully get some growth through the summer. And then we've got our golden dorset apple here, which is okay. You know, something about the apples don't seem to go as crazy as the other stone fruits do, but it's got nice green foliage and Seems to be doing okay. We're trying to get more growth off here. It's a little lopsided. And then we'll keep going over to here. We got the Aprium. So this is a new addition. Uh, put this in bare root in the end of the winter. Um, and I just have this string on it because the wind was blowing so hard. It's not, it's not really doing anything, but there was a day where the wind was blowing super hard. So this is one that I stick pruned. You can see the trunk there. I pruned it just literally to nothing but this stick of a trunk and took the top off everything completely. And look what it's done, it's exploded with growth. So I'm super happy on this one. Um, this is just tremendous growth. It's gonna allow me to set the shape of the tree for the future, which is what I really love to do. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll start chopping these off from the bottom, because we don't want that. So, you know, in another week or two, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do a separate video on that, and kind of document how I shape this, but this is beautiful. Um, excellent vigorous growth I love it next we're on to the almond tree by the way that where the aprium was that was where the other almond was and it died and we ended up just getting an aprium instead so this is an all-in-one almond this has come out with some great growth um, so this will need to get summer pruned for size control because look it's already over it's already seven feet and going from there so this will get summer size control and uh, we'll keep an eye on it and then shape it more in the winter, you know, with the structure shaping. And then we're down here to the last row, which is a new row. So this was 20 before 20 trees. We added two. Um, so we had a Bartlett pear, which is pretty much dead. It didn't live. Um, we planted it bare root and it just never woke up. And you can see it's dead because it'll just snap like that. There's no green. So yeah, we're not sure what happened. We just may have not given enough water after the transplant. Um, but yeah, that's dead. So look how the, great the structure was though. It had perfect uh, So we'll end up replacing this next winter. We'll wait for another bare root tree. Not sure what we'll do. Maybe 
maybe another pair there as well. And then last is the Granny Smith Apple. Um, this is one we added, you know, this there wasn't anything here before, so we wanted one more, uh, you know, tangy tart apple for baking and just for general use, so we went with a uh, Granny Smith, and we're kind of doing a central leader. We're gonna see how that works and um, decide and, as we go, but so far we're just sticking with a central leader pruning, and it's doing okay. We'll see how it goes, but uh, some, something about the apples, I don't know what it is, they don't go crazy with growth, like the peaches, cherries, apricots, and all that. So that's it, end of spring 2021. There's the orchard, It's everything's looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna link the videos up here for last year's spring tour and for the winter pruning, so make sure you check those out. And thanks for stopping by, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.